Hey guys, before we start this video, please do me a favor and go to my channel and when you subscribe to my channel, please click the little bell here next to the subscribe button or on a video as you can see right here click the little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video because YouTube is just messing around um, and uh, not giving my videos to my viewers so please click this little notification bell on the screen as you can see right here thank you So I'm still a little bit underwater, I just woke up, uh, I'm having some tea with some honey, but um, yeah, I, I just have a little bit of a sore throat, but I hope that will be resolved soon. Um, it is noon right now. I tried to go to bed at 1 o'clock yesterday night, but for some reason I just couldn't. I couldn't fall asleep, um, and I saw it become like 4 a.m. Shit, Zoe. So weird, bro. 1200 views. Like, usually my videos would get around 300 likes. Upwards of 300, actually. And now they get like just like barely 150. It's just dumb, man. It just sucks for a lot of people because they're working really hard on uh, videos and stuff, and then. YouTube gives them shit in return, but whatever. Let's just eat breakfast. I have some oats uh, with some honey, some milk, and um, frozen fruits, some berries. So we got a lot of uh, micronutrients in here and a lot of, you know, good carbs. So this is a perfect start today. I love to start with oats. I've been recently adding um, the fruits in again, um, just for the extra flavor because it was getting boring. Um, and yeah, I love the taste, so I'm just gonna eat this now, and um, after that we're gonna go to the grocery store and get some chicken, because we're out of chicken, and we need some for lunch. So, today, I went for the whole grain rice. I just had to stop fucking around. 100% whole grain. Uh, let's see the stats, the macros on here. Um, 2.5 fat per 100. 68 carbs. Herbigurt. Um... 6.2 fiber and 8.8 .8 protein. That's how we fucking do it, dog. And now, chicken. Uh, they're supposed to be in little blocks. You buy them in little blocks. But look at this piece. This is a huge block. Come on, man. All right, this is what it looks like. Uh, 75 grams of whole grain uh, rice. Then it's uh, 175 grams of chicken breasts. And then with some sauce, sauce on them. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna eat this and then hit the gym. Oh uh, man, I'm so excited to get back into the routine, man. It's been so long. So let's enjoy this and then head over to the gym by like 2.30 maybe. All right, uh, for your workout time, um, hold on. I need three things. One, three, two, Blue ice, lemonade flavor. So, um, yeah, this micro, micronized creatine monohydrate, five grams, should be enough for the, the day. So that's one. Then, half a scoop of Nate Shots flavor, and then half a scoop of blue ice. So hard to do with one hand, man. All right, that should be good. Now it is motherfucking gym time, boy! I'm so excited. It's been such a long time. It's been 13 days total. 13. Do do you even? Can you even imagine how long that is for me? That's super long. 13 days. It's gym time. Let's get it. 
What is going on guys? Welcome back to a workout commentary. This is the first one um, in this video. It's going to be another one later in the video. But today I want to talk about the shoulder workout that I did. Basically, shoulders was the only thing I wanted to do because it involves as least of my back as possible. Now you think you start out with standing dumbbell presses. That's, that must be a little bit tight on your, you know, your lower back and your core. But um, I was really trying to control my core. So uh, when I did this exercise and didn't go very um, heavy, as I said, I'm training like 50 to 75% of my weight. Um, and I did very low repetitions, only six. Um, and I was really tightening my core. I was really flexing my core um, whenever I was doing this exercise. So um, yeah, that's why I did that. I started out with that exercise, you know, um, I I found it a very good exercise to start off with. It's a little bit different than just the standing military presses or seated dumbbell presses. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Then um, I moved on to some side races, seated side races, so I can use as least of a movement or like of a um, momentum, as I, I would say, uh, least momentum as possible to do this exercise. So I can you know really isolate the side uh, laterals. Then. Um, I did a superset, I did front raises with a rope, um, and then I superset that with single arm uh, front raises with a dumbbell, which I love supersets, I love, you guys know how I love to do, really burn my shoulders out. Um, so that's what I did, front raises, I did three sets of that, 10 to 12 repetitions, and then I did single and uh, dumbbell front raises as well, 10 reps. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what this whole um, workout was. I did some stabilization exercises as well for my core. I will make sure to uh, record uh, that next time. So uh, I really want to make sure nothing like this, like the lower back thing happens again. So I really want to uh, get stronger in my lower back, uh, do a lot of stability exercises so nothing like this happens again. And I want to purchase a belt for like deadlifting squats and stuff just to make sure, just to make be safe and, and make sure nothing like this happens again. But I'll talk to you guys in the next workout. Oh, hi there. Uh, so welcome back home, ice pack, um, so a couple things I want to talk about right now, um, one, why the ice pack on my lower back, um, I ended up finishing the workout with some core stability exercises, and obviously, um, your lower back had a hit uh, a couple weeks back, and, uh, it's still... In recovery, I would say, but it was good enough for, for today to train. So I'm really happy with how things went, um, first of all. So, um, well, yeah, I finished off with some a core stability exercise, which obviously now it's a little bit sore. So I'm um, icing it right now. So I make sure the recovery is as good as possible. I'm going to play some COD right now. So uh, let's jump into the gameplay and uh, let's see if we can uh, get some clips for you guys. Maybe we can, we, you know, a little bit of fun. Here on MW2. I mean, and this is kind of cool, I guess. Get wrecked, boy. Jeez, my, my voice is retarded. But I just got this in the mail. Uh, a 2.2 liter bottle from Gymshark. Um, I'm going to be drinking twice this thing uh, during a day. So uh, that's 4.4 liters. So let's fill it up and start today. Um, if you want to get one, link is in the description. As always, thank you Gymshark for hooking me up. I appreciate it. But now let's fill it up. It says right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see, probably can't really see. Right here it says 2,000 milliliters, which is 2 liters. So, um, yeah, let's start with that. I'm really excited to drink this because I am super um, thirsty. So, yeah, let's have breakfast. Alright guys, um, so now that we, you know, basically have this amazing 2.2 liter thing, and by the way, I'm already down to uh, just under one liter. 
So I drank uh, a little bit over a liter already, which is great. Um, and now this, we're going to also use this in a gym, which obviously is a good idea. Um, so uh, yeah, let's just fill this up with our favorite G Fuel flavors. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is going to be today, but we'll see. Watermelon. Uh, again, tomorrow on Friday, so when this video goes up tomorrow, Friday, uh, there will be a sale, a G Fuel sale. So keep an eye on that if you want to purchase some G Fuel. You get like 30% off, so. We are training back and biceps. Um, now I, I already hear you thinking, what the fuck are you doing, Jasper? Training back again. Uh, yeah, I know, but I won't be doing any pool exercises in a way where my lower back gets God, I need to work my filming abilities, but I'm not doing any uh, exercise that will uh, put pressure on my lower back. So for example, I'm gonna do um, chin-ups or pull-ups. So that basically, you know, eliminates my lower back completely. Uh, then I'm gonna be doing uh, lat pull-downs, which uh, shouldn't have an impact on my lower back um, as much, but I will do it very, very slowly and very um, light. As I said before, I'm gonna train on like 50-75%. So uh, that's why. Um, and then I'm probably gonna do something like a reverse fly, um, stuff like that. So I won't do any, you know, seated reverse fly, by the way, that is. Uh, I won't do any crazy exercises. Uh, I'm gonna keep it very light, very mellow, very slow. Yeah, it's gonna be just it right like this. <laughs> So yeah, that's why um, I want to do um, some back today, back and biceps, biceps as well. I'm gonna do a lot of seated stuff. I'm not gonna do any standing heavy pulling. Uh, maybe uh, I'm gonna do a like rope uh, curl or something, but I will keep it very light again. Boom, and we're back in the gym. Um, second commentary of this video. I hope you are enjoying this video um, as so far. Now today I decided to train back and I know um, I just talked about it in this uh, in the in the first commentary how I did shoulders because it doesn't really involve any back and now I'm training back so I was pretty much training upper back um, at all times in this in this workout I was a, you know this is a seated uh, lat pull down I don't use any lower back there's no stress on my lower back at all so I can easily do this exercise. Um, which felt really good and as you can see my lats are pretty pretty okay here uh, I feel like I need to work on my arms, but that, that's this is another story uh, But this is um, I did this four sets I think 10 to 12 repetitions and then I uh, moved on to uh, For back at least um, I did some pull-ups and that's that's the only two things I did for back um, Just because I wanted to, no, no risks and you know two exercises It, it was okay to start uh, start off with and next week. We'll see how things go And uh, then I moved on to some biceps. I did a little bit more intense bicep session um, as well seated uh, I didn't want to risk anything So I, I kept the seat uh, seated dumbbell curls, which was very nice I did three sets eight to twelve repetitions uh, somewhere between that um, which went quite well. It was uh, weird to feel a pump again in my arm and to really feel the, the muscle moving. Uh, it's been, as I said before, almost two weeks that I trained, so um, definitely a different feeling, but uh, it went well. Uh, then uh, some regular bicep curl with a barbell, a very light weight, so I put no stress on my lower back at any time, keep the form really nice and steady, uh, tightening my core, making sure I don't use any of that stuff, I just work my biceps. So I super started that with some single-handedly um, cable curls, uh, pretty much a hammer curl, I would say. Uh, so single arm cable hammer curls. Th these names are getting so long, man. Uh, but I did both 10 repetitions. Um, I pretty much make, sh maybe I did this eight, I'm not remembering correctly, but uh, it's either 10 or eight repetitions, which is a great burnout set to do. Um, on a bicep workout day. So if you want to work some biceps, um, try to do some drives at the room, some supersets, try to incorporate as much, you know, different stuff as possible if you haven't done that before because switching things up here and there um, is definitely good to do. 
Um, so yeah, that's it for the workout commentary of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest. Shout out Cool Blue. They repaired my tripod without any hassles. Shout out. Yo, if you are confused by that last clip, I understand because I never explained it. But basically the tripod that I'm using, the Gorilla Pod uh, from Yobi, um, it was one little side of the tripod. So actually, let me show you guys this thing. And like they're very, well, I'm not sure how to say it, but they're very stiff. And one of the sides, one of these balls, lel, was very loose. So whenever I put it down, it was very loose and it would wobble a lot and it would, you know, fall down. So I walked into the store, I said, yo, this is loose. They're like, oh my god, here is a new one. Been like in like five minutes I was outside, I got a new one. So I appreciate dude, I appreciate those type of companies so much. Let me put it back on for you guys. And without hassle, they change it because you have a right, you know, to get a good product. So thank you guys. Um cool so thank you, Cool Blue, for being one of uh you know, one of those companies that really takes care of their customers, and I really appreciate that. So, I will probably buy a lot of stuff at Cool Blue just because I love the service. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like. Make sure to click the notification bell down below as well, and I'll check with you guys uh, later. Little pump here. Come back. The comeback, baby. So, I see you guys later in the darkness. Ha ha ha.